and giving all praises, honors, and glories unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bashim Akakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, great most on that told me the truth that will well. Shalom to the elect scattered through the four corners of the earth. My name is Kodash Paya. As you can see here, these are the lyrics, right? From that uh, song featuring uh, fucking Megan the Stallion, featuring Yoki Sheba. It's, it's like it, it was a song that went viral, but the point is the lyrics. You look at the lyrics. These are different languages. These are different tongues. Separate tongues. At that. Um, so that's why the scriptures even speak about. If the, if, if I, I believe it was Paul that stated it. Uh, when you speak in, the, in, a, uh, in another tongue. You must have an interpreter. Right? One, got a t one or two got to. Uh, interpret what you're saying. If not, you know, it wasn't coming from the Lord at that, for that, you know. But going into like the tongues, so like, if you hear me, that's uh, languages. And now that I think Megan the Slotty is definitely an Israelite, for sure. Israelite, I mean, you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, which are the biblical Israelites. But you had Jake going to Japan, you know, uh, the Afro Samurais. You have different combat, you know, movements that come from our people. You know, even going back to King David, bro. King David, King, you know, our people was always uh, um, our warriors. There's a few names I, I know, but not off of the tip of my tongue of the house of David. But you also, you, hey, Abraham, you know, uh, Samson, book of Judges, the book of Judges. And, you know, you had a lot of, our, you know, people, they were judges. You know, they would judge accordingly, right, uh, according to the law, but they were warriors. But the point is, you know... Which, when when the scriptures speak about the Gentiles, um, a lot of our people took the languages, right, of the heathen. But does that make you a heathen? No, it don't. It all. It's all um, according to your your dad, right. According to your dad, which is the line, the lineage, the you know. Um, forgive me, real quick. This book of James one and one. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Yahusha Mashiach, to the twelve tribes, which are scattered abroad. So, if you're born in a place, you know you you pick up on the traditions. And the language, the customs, that doesn't make you a part of them spiritually, you know. Uh, yeah, I mean, the mom may be Japanese, but the pops is black. You black, bro, but you might speak Chinese and or Japanese, and because you was groomed because of your environment, you became a product, a product to the environment, but that. Does that make you a fucking Japanese? No, it don't. Right? And so, this is why, you know, even Paul, the Apostle Paul, he knew different languages. He spoke to Yahweh Shai in Hebrew, but he knew the Greek, he knew the, he spoke to the Romans. He, he had to, he wrote letters to them, but he knew who he was. Yeah, he knew. Like we're not Americans. We're not. We speak English, which is a Roman tongue. But uh that does does that make us Romans or he? First of all, that's not even an ethnicity. Um, they were Edomites, right? So you gotta understand. The difference between what people call themselves 
and their ethnicity. You know, and that goes back to the par the parable of the seeds. The seeds with if, uh, if you plant an apple tree, a see an apple seed in the ground is you know it's gonna be an apple tree, it's not gonna be a an apple and fucking watermelon tree. It just doesn't make you know, but people now they don't understand, like they you know. But when you hear music like this, you see certain boxers that look like heathens, you see certain um People in, in these gymnastics, NBA, MLB, football, you know, poetry, like, yo, like, where did everything originate? Matter of fact, let me, uh, you know, the scriptures tell you, Jacob is the former of all things, right? But these heathens try to, you know, erase history and take credibility to manip manipulate the, the, the new generations. So they won't know where they came from. Taking history away from schools, which the Board of Education was funded by the Rockefellers. All right, so, you know, go figure. But anyway, I'm going to do this real quick. This is in the book of just to prove a point in the book of Zeph Zephaniah. No, hold on. Yeah, Zephaniah 3, verse 9. I was looking at the wrong verse. It says, For, for then will I turn to the people, who's the people? The Israelites. The ones that came from the lineage of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right? The letter J wasn't created back then. He wasn't calling Jesus, Jehovah, certain vowels like Yahweh, Yah. No. You know? So, that gives you the process of elimination. Alright, well, we spoke Hebrew, because they're not Paul. Speak to Yahusha Hebrew, which was the original language. That's why we're reading this Zephaniah 3 and 9. For when it, for for then will I turn to the people of pure language. Lashon Kodasha, holy, a separate language. It's just separate from, you know what I mean? It says that they may all, who's the all the elect? Eventually, the whole Israel, but the elect, starting with the elect, call upon the name of the Lord to serve Him with one consent, right? With one consent in the name, which is Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. In the Hebrew, He, that the Father, He exists or He is, Bahashim in the name of Yahweh Shai, that He is delivering. And it's, it, it, it shows you the important, the, the significance. I've called on upon the name. Many people call on many names. Many different deities. If you will, right? So, what name, what, you know, what language has the, the direct, right? If you call somebody, say you have a phone call, somebody give you the number, but you dial, you dial the number, but the last one number is wrong. Instead of a five, you put a you put a you put an eight. It's like it's not gonna call upon them. So even with that one letter, which like I told you the name Yahweh Yahweh Shai, if you say Yahweh, it's like no, close but. Not close enough for you, you know. So, so I, that's different tongues. You must have interpreters, you know. So the Lord is bringing us to our pure language. We might know our brothers, you know, even to the, you know, top of pass. They don't know Hebrew fluently as if, you know, that's the only language they was taught. 
And in captivity, we learn, we rehearse in righteous acts, right? So, um, but to know the name, whatever state, country, these heathens, they say, well, the heathens can say, but wherever Jake is at, yeah, whatever country, whatever state, the name, whatever language they speak, the name is going to stay the same. It's not going to change. That's the original, that's the ancient tongue. You see, so, um, for us to call up, and you got Jake that, uh, and these other religions, well, they know the Israelites, you know, I, you, I see, they don't, they don't pray to So a lot of men, you got to be sincere as well, man. Like, no, it ain't just listening to your prayer just because you know the name. He, he knows your spirit too. You know, so you got to be sincere. You know, many, like this, even people that call upon other names that they, they believe it. They have a zebra now called knowledge, but what they pray, they probably believe it, but the shit that they're doing is, is, is contrary to what, so, you gotta be sincere, you gotta really, like, live in, not just only speak it. Anyway, with that, I'm gonna say Shalom.